So whenever I upload a new video or create a new post on this channel, one of the most commonly asked questions I get is, Hello, can I get a shout out? Could you please check out my channel? Here's a link. Nobody notices me. Please, can I get a shout out? Please. Now, I don't have much against shout outs. I don't think they're a completely bad idea, but the amount of requests that I get can be a bit annoying. Most Gatchatubers aspire to be as big as their favourite Gatchatuber and want to get the recognition they think they deserve for their videos, so they ask the bigger Gatchatubers for a shout out. The thing is, shout outs can only get you so far, and as cliche as this sounds, I believe that hard work and dedication could go a much longer way. So I decided I would make a video for those who want to become a quote unquote successful Gatchatuber. And what better time than the start of the new year? I'm going to share my tips and my own personal experience to hopefully help some of you out. One of the most popular Gacha Life videos are Gacha Life mini movies, but there are also series, music videos, tutorials, skits, memes, animation, speed paints, and more. You probably have one or two in mind, but explore what kind of content you would like to make and home in on it. Before I even knew what the Gacha community on YouTube was, I started doing a Gacha Life series because I love creating stories. It wasn't an instant hit, but the more I progressed with the episodes, the more I built up a community around it. That then led me to make speed paints and commentary style videos, as well as mini movies and one or two music videos and memes. So basically I make whatever I feel like making, although making mini movies and series are definitely my favourite because I love story writing and that happens to be what my subscribers like the most. There are many Gatchatubers that make a range of different content that I'm sure you're aware of, but there are also Gatchatubers that focus on one particular type of content. Find what type of videos you like making and build a community around it. Don't feel like you have to tie yourself to one type of content as a Gatchatuber, but don't feel like you have to do all of these things too. I'd say it's very important to be original. It is great to take inspiration from your favourite Gatchatuber, but there is a fine line between being inspired and copying. But another reason why you should be original is so that you and your content can be identified easily. Let's take your username for instance. You can be as creative or unique as you want with this of course, but try to think of one that is not so commonly used. I have noticed that a lot of people like to use cookies or potato, its or plays in their username, which is fine, but it is very overused and it kind of takes away from your originality. So I would say try to think of something unique to you. I named myself Rosie Closey because I have rosy cheeks and because Closey is a funny nickname of my real name Chloe. This username is unique to me and I know that people can easily identify me. Another factor to being original is of course your content. You should create the content you love and enjoy the most and be inspired by other gacha videos, but remember not to copy or do things just for views. I think you know what I mean. Of course, once somebody makes a popular video, other people will either copy or be heavily inspired, so you do see a lot of the same kinds of videos. But that isn't always a good way to become popular. In my opinion, it's better to grow a community based on your own original content and ideas rather than copies of others, and other people will like that and also be inspired by you. You might think that your ideas are bad or will be unpopular, but you never know until you try. I never knew my Drury videos would be popular until I started making my own Drury series. If I hadn't started that, I wouldn't be where I am on YouTube today. So try carving out your own style so that you can stand out from the crowd and think outside of the box. So once you've started to get into the groove of uploading videos, you should think about how often you are upload depending on what type of content you make. Don't force yourself to post every day if you can't. It's much better in my opinion to work on the quality of your videos rather than the quantity and people will more likely check out your content and like it if you've put more effort into that one video. 
If you make Gacha Life mini movies or series like me, you know that they take a lot of time. But creating a schedule for yourself to get your videos done is also important so that you don't disappear for months on end. To be honest, I need to take my own advice on this one. Another thing is to be patient and remember that views will not come flooding in straight away for most people. It takes time to build up a fan base and it is much more worthwhile in the long run. Lastly, don't compare yourself to big tubers. I have done this in the past. It can be very demotivating to see other tubers with lots of talents and with hundreds of thousands of subscribers if you compare yourself to them. But remember that we are all running our own race and you should focus instead on your own achievements. With time, you will see a drastic improvement in your own videos. I hate watching my old cringy videos, but it's a good reminder of how far I've come. Engaging with your subscribers and the Gacha community is a great idea if you want to build a better relationship with your fans and get yourself known. If you don't have many subscribers yet, you can take part in MEPs or MEPs, collabs or fake collabs. And once people begin to subscribe to you, take advantage of the tools YouTube has given you, such as the comment section and the community tab. Well, only if you have 1000 subscribers. Gambatte! You could even add links to other social media accounts for fans to interact with you and for you to share any other cool stuff you make. For example, I use my Instagram to share my art with my viewers. You could even make friends with other Gatchatubers who make similar content to you so that you can support each other. Improvement is something that often comes naturally with time, but if you find yourself struggling to make gacha videos because you lack the skills, then a good idea is to take advantage of YouTube and watch tutorials. There are plenty of videos and blogs on the internet dedicated to helping people learn new skills. This could be story writing for a mini movie or animating for a meme or even using editing software. Don't be intimidated if anything looks overly complicated. I started out using Windows Movie Maker because it was the only thing I understood. But after watching other gacha videos, I was inspired to improve my own videos, so I started watching tutorials on how to use Vegas Pro, which is what I use now. But you don't need a supercomputer to make the types of videos I make. Most people make great videos just with their phones. You can see what other gacha tubers you like use and work on your weak areas for improvement, and before you know it, you'll be improving in no time. At the end of the day, you should enjoy making videos. Being a gacha tuber is so much fun! Most of the time. I've been a gacha tuber for around eight months now, and it's been quite a roller coaster. When I started out, I had no care in the world because, well, I didn't think anyone would watch my videos. But as I began to gain subscribers and the demand for more videos grew, I found myself stressing out about YouTube. Stressing myself out about videos only hindered my ability to make them and took the fun out of YouTube for me. Now I focus more on creating a fun and enjoyable video that I love and I know you guys will love rather than pushing myself to upload more due to demand. Don't force yourself to upload more than you think you can handle, otherwise you will burn out. Also remember that you should always prioritise your education if you're still in school, as I know a lot of tubers are in school. Your grades matter more than the views of a video, and I hate to see it when YouTube starts to affect people's school life. The last thing I want to say on this topic is, don't let numbers get to your head and remember to treat people with respect. This community doesn't have the best reputation on YouTube, but I hope that we can continue to try and make it a healthier place for people to enjoy each other's amazing work and to support each other. Success is subjective, so what success is for me might not be what success is for you. For me, getting 1000 subscribers was an amazing feat and I was content with that because I felt like I had already built up a community who liked my content and that made me really happy. 
Basically, don't define your success as a Gatchatuber based solely on your subscriber count. It should be based on the factors that I have listed in this video. Your content, your originality, consistency, improvement and enjoyment. Regardless of numbers, make amazing videos for yourself that you will be proud of and have fun making Gacha videos. So that's it. I hope that this video was somewhat useful to some of you and uh, Happy New Year everyone! I can't wait to make more content for you in 2020.